Welcome, one, welcome all to the RetroTech 120p challenge. It's a triple challenge for me this week. One, I'll be competing against the other people in the RetroTech 100 group. You should all join the group and then join in the weekly challenge on an arcade game where you have to survive on two credits. Do not crash into a ghost on your first go. The second part of my challenge is I'm doing this without any practice. I'm relying on my old Pac-Man instincts. I used to be quite good at Pac-Man growing up. I've never played Miss Pac-Man, even though it is thought to be the best of the classic series. Um, but I have uh, got the uh, Pac-Man 256 on my phone. I did that Google Pac-Man thing when it was a thing. The Google Map Pac-Man thing, if you remember that. I did that a lot. Um, I still play that Google Pac-Man a lot, even though everyone else forgot about it probably about 15 years ago. But I love Pac-Man a lot, um, even though I've not played the best game of the early series. What a weird world we live in. So yes, I've not had any practice on this at all. Uh, as you can see from uh, my first life there, that didn't go well. Do I get better? A little bit. Um, let's see how we get on. Um, and the third challenge, as I said, there were three challenges. The third challenge is I'm recording my audio separately, as I usually do, because I'm a massive coward. And I can't think on my feet. But the most important part of that is I need a Wii quite badly. And I'm going to try and get to the end of this without going to the toilet. So there might be a point during this playthrough where I wee myself and I promise I will let out an indicator of that by saying a couple of swear words and then crying about my stupidity for a while. I've lost another life there. So yes, Miss Pac-Man, uh, part of Namco's Pac-Man series, came out very shortly after the first and uh, there's a whole thing about it in that high score series that's on Netflix. I know a lot of people don't like it because I didn't give a lot of new information to, to people that know about all this stuff. There's a nice little cutscene here. You like cutscenes in Pac-Man. You get to see the romance of Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man. How they got together, became Mr. and Mrs. Pac-Man, had Pac-children, then had a bitter divorce where she kept all the fruit or whatever it is they have in their house that they collect. Actually, Miss Pac-Man's a bit more of a fatty than Pac-Man because she collects pretzels and stuff as well as fruit. Um, yeah, you can tell she's a lady because uh, she's got a bow in her hair, as we all know. If you uh, want to show that you're a lady in any kind of old cartoon or film, merely put a bow on your head because, as we know, all women wear bows, right? You can't walk down the street without seeing a woman wearing a bow on her head. So that was my disappointing first entry onto this. Do I get better? I do get better. So it's all okay. Do I need a wee now? I really need a wee now. My bladder is expanding. It's let out a few deathly bellows for me to get to the nearest latrine. And I continue to ignore it. I'm doing the, the cross leg thing at the moment. I think it's important that doing this challenge, you do add little extra challenges for yourself. And you challenge yourself every day. Uh, Miss Pac-Man's also got a lovely beauty spot, as we can see. Um, there's lots of famous young ladies with beauty spots, including one of my favourites, Natalie Portman. Um, she's very pretty, isn't she? She's got a lovely face. I didn't fancy her when she was Leon, I must uh, point that out very hurriedly. It wasn't until she was, uh, I think it was Attack of the Clones, where she got the um, the tear down the, around the midriff area that was like, oh, hello, I'd like to buy you a cup of tea and a scone and put my penis inside of your face. Um, but... Um, no, I didn't want to put my penis inside of her face. I did want to do loads of romantic things, like run through um, hay. Can you run through hay? Like a hay bale. I wanted to run through a hay bale with Natalie Portman. Yeah. See, these thoughts are coming from the delirium of me needing to urinate. Um, 
it's a challenge I shouldn't have set myself. I'm starting to regret it now. There is no, I, you know, I live in a particularly cold house. So if I did wet myself, that would be fine for the duration of this video because it would keep my legs warm. I'm laying on my bed though. And uh, the regret would soon sink in along with the cold. Yes, good. So yeah, another one of Namco's finest, this. They were pretty good, weren't they, Namco? They still are good. I'm, I've, I've sort of <laughs> declared them dead by saying that sentence. And they're not. They're still going. They made a lot of money from Pac-Man merchandise at the time. Um, certainly one of the most iconic characters in video game history. The first major mascot, for sure. Even the plumber did beat him. Um, Jet Set Willy. Do you count him? I don't know. He's not international, is he? Let's be honest. I wonder what's in those dots that makes them so addictive to the pack folk. I mean, I wouldn't go into a big haunted maze just to eat dots. I'd go to the nearest, like, supermarket or something. Maybe the little Pringles. She is a bit of a fatty though, look, with her, you can see down the bottom of the screen she likes a good pretzel now and again. So yeah, anyway, my second challenge here is going a lot better than my first. Um, but, you know, I'm not any um, Steve Weeby or, or, what's that guy? Billy Mitchell, I'm not him. I'm not going to be gracing the halls of Twin Galaxies anytime soon. It's nice to play these older titles as well, because a lot of my arcade experience... Uh, when I was younger, it was, came from when I was about six or seven onwards, so I would only find my eyes drawn to the really posh games like OutRun and then later on like the scrolling beat-em-ups like Final Fight and things like that. It was things that stood out to me or things I liked as a kid like wrestling and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Simpsons, that kind of thing. I would go to those um, arcade cabinets before I went to something like Mrs. Pac-Man or Miss Pac-Man. Stop Stop throwing her into marriage, Brain. She wants to get to know Mr. Pac-Man first. I'm not going to give them an arranged pack marriage. Because she darts around the screen eating the dots. I wonder if someone's pulling that apple with a bit of string to make it bounce. Or is the apple sentient as well? Oh no, I'm going into one of my weird analyses again. I'm making things into things they shouldn't be. But yes, as I said, this um, about my instinct play. Um, I, I played a lot of Pac-Man on, as I said, things like Google Maps and, and um, the uh, Google screen, you know, the, uh, the logo. I used to love playing that. And uh, I have one... Uh, stuff out the, using the ticket you know the old ticket machines in the arcade as well I've won stuff on them and so when when this challenge came up I was like you know what let's try something a little bit different I just saw the cutscene there of Pac-Man chasing Miss Pac-Man and vice versa so it didn't get too rapey which is good but yeah very enjoyable game as I say, RetroTech 100 group, join it if you want to take part in the next challenge. You don't have to challenge yourself um, by doing a voiceover as you desperately need a Wii, which is now becoming quite a concern, and I'm hoping that I die very soon. <laughs> um, you don't have to go immediately into pressing the record button and then playing. What you can do is you can practice as many times as you like when you uh, want to take part in the challenge, you press the record button and that is your run. Two credits, two credits only. That is 20p, hence RetroTech 120p challenge. Um, some people are better than others. I've never won one yet. I've come close a couple of times. I'm just generally not very good at games. How confident was I of doing this one? Not that much, because I always think when someone picks a game, they're usually quite good at it. So I was more confident in things like Vendetta and Escape Kids 
the, when uh, those came up as my choices. Still didn't win though, did I? <laughs> it shows you how bad I am. And that is the end of my go. I'm going to go to the toilet. You can either stay and watch any of these videos on here. You can subscribe. You can wait for the next challenge. Or you can go and join the group. Maybe you should do that. Okay, thanks. Bye.